Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The car powered by atomic energy. Did you know? In 1965, Soviet scientists tested the car, Volga Atom, with an atomic engine of 320 horsepower, very much for that time. The engine weighed 500 kilograms, so the front was not two wheels, but four. Such a car could be very long without refueling. The tests showed that the Volga Atom travels 60,000 kilometers without refueling. It turned out that after that, the engine needed to be replaced with a new one. But Soviet scientists corrected this problem, they created an engine with gas phase fuel in the form of uranium hexafluoride instead of solid uranium, and the new version of the car could go 40,000 kilometers without refueling. The refuel it was now sufficient to pump a new supply of uranium hexafluoride into the cylinders, and the car would keep going. When Khrushchev retired, the cars were dismantled, and research in this field ceased. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Notice that the internet and the computers that it serves are actually made of the materials of the earth. They're largely metals. Silicon, glass, copper, gold, and silver. These are the products of demonic artifice. These are the things that the alchemists dreamed of. They transform space and time, they allow us to speak at a distance, and they allow us to wander through libraries thousands of miles distant. They make it so that no fact is too obscure and no person so hidden that you can't reach them. Terence McKenna The same material that is used in technology today, primarily crystals, is referenced in ancient lore regarding magic and alchemy. Modern long-distance communication methods such as the internet are primitive compared to what can really be done. Many today do not take kindly to the mix and cameras scattered around in modern household devices because of fear of being watched or listened to. If you are one of those people, as am I, understand these concepts. There is a method to see through walls from miles away. There is a method to hear sounds from miles away without a mic. There is a method to profile or decode the shape of your room, as well as the rest of your house, using only sound. Theoretically, the second can be done with electromagnetic waves, and the third can be done electromagnetically as well. In other words, you can spy on someone without cameras or microphones, a method that appears to be completely traceless. Now that I think of it, if I can tune to local neighborhoods and listen in on what they're saying without having to bug their house, there may be a way to reverse this method and project sound from a distant location of my choosing without a speaker or wires. The concept stems from the fun rather unknown fact that you can use a microphone as a speaker, and a speaker as a microphone. 
Imagine how clean venue setups would be, without physical mix, or speakers, just crystal radios. One setup would be that you have your normal rig, but the crystal receivers nearby are set to pick up the vibrations of your cabinet speakers, which would then be set to propagate at specific locations in the venue through a coordinate matrix. No mix required to pick up the cabinet signal, and no PA required to increase the volume of the signal elsewhere. You could even cut out the middleman entirely. From the guitar pickups to the amplifier can be wireless, as long as the guitar has a signal receiver, required in this case, because the guitar is not static to the ground, and from the amplifier, which can be the crystal system itself, the signal can be sent directly to the desired sound coordinates. Wouldn't that be insane to go to a show where this is set up? Everyone would be confused, because they'd hear where the sound is coming from, but they will not see any speakers, PA, cabinets, or anything. It would be a clean stage. On top of this, there may be a way to replicate it electromagnetically. In other words, have a device that can select a nearby coordinate and make that exact location turn on or light up. No light bulbs required. You could use this in conjunction with the sound equivalent, and you could create the most insane venue setup. It could also be used for pranks as well. You could scare people at night on the street from the comfort of your own home. Since you can watch and listen to them remotely through this crystal technology, you can prank anyone, and they will never know who did it. Imagine sweeping around the neighborhood, remotely, and finding some fool walking around late at night. You can then configure your system to a coordinate he will walk by in the next 15 seconds, wait until the right time, then rickroll him at maximum volume. Then you could find another person walking around and configure a 3D hologram of Michael Jackson to pop out of nowhere right in front of him, complete with sound and everything, then vanish 3 seconds later. That guy will be freaked out for the rest of his life. Wait, I have the greatest idea ever. How about I set up a ton of moving propagation locations all the way up into the sky, then fake an alien invasion, complete with sound effects and everything, and I'll make them say something like, bow down to us, or we will round you up and shoot you. That would be the most epic prank of all time. What do you think? Keep in mind, I am also implying that entire people can be faked using this technology. Sound and everything. Light projected from the same place of interest and sound is also projected from that same location. If you can choose exactly where light and sound is projected from remotely, you can make a fake version of anyone or anything. Regarding the epic prank I mentioned earlier, this should be a mind blower to all of you who are interested in the sky event. Because of the signs, the second beast was given power to perform on behalf of the first beast, it deceived the inhabitants of the earth. It ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to give life to the image of the first beast so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image to be killed. Revelation 13 14 to 15. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.